Keith Cunningham, this was a speaker <clears throat> at Business Mastery. He has built a billion dollar business, multiple multi-million dollar businesses. Right now is his hobby. He has five businesses doing about six million a year. 30 million, he doesn't work in any of them. So he had, you know, I have this little DVD CD program that kind of gives away a bunch of stuff. So I'm like, okay, I'm buying that. That'll be cool. So what got you here today may not get you where you're going to be tomorrow. You know, what got you to this point, what you did yesterday, may not make you successful today. So what's he saying? Is the world changing? Success is a balance between control and flexibility. Control or systems. Flexibility is adapting and innovating. And having flexibility in communication. Control is pre, a wow first impression, a tour, pre-consultation, consultation, exam, take x-rays. Flexibility is how do you get a person emotionally from one place to another place. Because each person's different. So a new model for a new world. This is life coaching. Life coaching teaches how to build relationships. It teaches people how to get past themselves. Tony Robbins, life coach, he developed the whole friggin' life coaching profession, basically using NLP. Now, uh, certainly things have advanced, but you go to a seminar, it's 5,000 people, and it breaks, you got about 40 to 50% of the crowd running to the tables to pay $10,000 for a seminar. How many people are running in your office with a $10,000 check? Would you like that a little bit more often? Would that be good? Do you think they would miss their appointments if they paid you $10,000? No way. So how do we create that value? All I did in Leet was say, why don't we look at what the most successful people in the world are doing? And why don't we just do that and apply it to chiropractic? You know, it's not that friggin' hard. You know what I mean? Like brilliance is very simple. The most simple things are absolutely brilliant. <clears throat> so if he's training some of the most successful business people in the world, why don't we just apply that to spinal correction? How's that work? So life coaching helps people release their personal limitations, their own self-imposed barriers, and teaches you how to uncover inspiration. So if you're going to learn how to uncover inspiration within others, where has it got to start? Say, it starts with me. Starts with me. Sound serious about that? A little louder. Starts with me. Starts with me. Thank you very much. <clears throat> it also releases the need to sell. I think selling chiropractic is absolutely ridiculous. Feeling like you have to convince somebody to do what's good for them is a good thing we're not judgmental because otherwise it would be offensive, right? It would just flat out piss you off if you have to convince somebody to do what's good for them. How many people have been frustrated with that? So in coaching, you learn how to guide somebody to make it their choice. Then you never have to sell again. In fact, the power of your life is determined by the power of the questions you ask yourself. And I remember one day, I hit that person. I'm done selling chiropractic. And the question I asked myself that led me to all this training was, how can I create a system where people ask me to be a patient? I think that's the way it should be. I think that people get it on a higher level, and they say, Dr. Fred, can I be your patient here? And that's when the patient application system started that day with one question. Then it was a matter of finding the communication and developing the systems around it. Do you believe you're helping people get what they innately desire? Do you believe that people innately, truly, spiritually desire what you're showing them? 100%. They just don't know how to get there. So when you, when you take that into your beingness, then there's no defensiveness. Then you don't panic and see objections as a barrier because objections are really questions that a person doesn't know how to ask. So when an objection is not a barrier, it's an open door. Because until they communicate their thoughts, you don't know how to get them past that limiting belief. So you want people to communicate their objections. 
That's another little mantra we always have in Elite is we, this is a system that seeks objections. We want to bring those objections out so we can clear them. And the more we clear those objections, the more they innately get what they desire, which is really to be your patient and to change the way they live their life. Does that make sense? So they truly innately desire it. They just don't know how to get there. That's why they have objections. What they're saying is, I can't see in the dark. Will you please be the light? Will you please show me how to get through that door out of this darkness and into the light of higher consciousness? That's, that's really what an objection is. The least successful people focus on the clothes. <clears throat> so when you look at salespeople, people that focus on the clothes, people that focus on numbers, do you think that other people are innately spiritual as well? Do you think they can feel your intention? If you're focused on the clothes, are you focusing on an innate to innate connection and building a relationship? Nope. And then what you do is you become a salesperson and now you don't build trust. The whole relationship and sale is begins with trust. That's the first step. So the first step is always build rapport. The most successful people focus on the relationship. Now why do we go through this today? Because there's many times one of my incantations or affirmations in the morning is I'm excited to see who I'm going to build a new relationship with today. Many people are in this room because in the morning, you know, when I meditate and I go through my morning rituals, I see all these people that I'm excited to know on a personal level, right? And the people that are in elite know when you're an elite client, man, we know each other. We have a relationship. So are you excited? Do you say that? Do you get excited about who you're going to build a relationship with that day? Who knew is going to come into your life that you're going to establish a great relationship with? 